Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Light back with another new video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing Falcon and Winter Soldier, the complete season review here on the channel. Uh, so yeah, recently Falcon and Winter Soldier com came to a wrap, at least season one did. And yeah, in this video, I'm just going to review the whole season, talk about some stuff, what I think is going to happen next. And yeah. So Falcon and Winter Soldier introduced some new characters, uh... Yeah, introduce some new characters, some new plots, new things. Uh, and it's the second Disney Plus Marvel show that has come out. Previously, we got WandaVision. I, I, I don't know if I'll compare the two, at least not in this video. Maybe I'll save it for another video. But in this video, we're strictly talking about the se complete season of Falcon and Winter Soldier. I'm going to touch on some things I like, some things I didn't like. Um, yeah. So yeah, I guess let's get into it. So, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, Falcon and, of course, the Winter Soldier both got their fi finally got their show as a kind of par uh, partner show where it was like a good cop, bad cop, cop type of action movie type show. That's at least what I think it was. It was pretty interesting that in that way. In that sense, a lot of jokes, a lot of action, a lot of different things. Story was pretty well done. Really enjoyable. One thing I like about this show compared to, say, other shows, and WandaVision especially, is this show did a really awesome job of just making it like one whole kind of continuous kind of story slash movie. Because originally Kevin Feige said that um, they wanted to make six hour kind of shows that were treating, giving like a movie treatment kind of show. Now, I thought... This really did it really well in terms of that way. Uh, just just um, the way it was written. Uh, like It just continued one after the other. We didn't miss anything at all. Unless it was like from the 5th and 6th episode, it, we just missed him flying. But that doesn't matter, honestly. They would have probably cut that out in the movie as well. So it, it didn't really matter that, but about that. But like it was one continuous uh, thing. And I that's what I really jo enjoy. And I hope like... Uh, other Marvel shows are like that as well, but like, uh, specifically the show similar to like this, I understand why they didn't really do that for WandaVision, and I don't think they will be doing that for She-Hulk, but I would like to see that for, say, Hawkeye, um, Moon Knight, I would love to see that, but, uh, yeah, anyways, let's get into this, so, let's continue talking, I guess, um, yeah, so the, again, the action very well choreographed scenes i didn't feel like it was super lengthy it wasn't copying the same moves twice or something like that i thought it was really well choreographed in terms of the fight scenes and all that really well done uh and again like these the show used a lot of just super soldiers as well and if you don't know about super soldiers you know that they can fight each other very well for long times of periods of time because they're pretty much like not bulletproof, but like punch proof and wall proof and stuff like that. So I like really like that uh, about this show as well. Uh, yeah, dude, with just that whole thing, uh, the fight scenes were really well done, really fantastic. Uh, yeah, next thing would probably be character development. Now I think this had really really good character development, uh, stemming from say. Uh, Sam, uh, U.S. agent, and, uh, yeah, th those two really, to my mind, stand out than the other one. Winter Soldier had a bit, or Bucky had a bit of, uh, he had a bit of character development, but his character pretty much kind of stayed similar, I guess, but, I mean, he's more, he's more, uh, like, frequent with exactly what he's saying and stuff to people because if you realize at the start of the show Winter Soldier was scared about telling people or he wasn't scared but he was like hiding his metal arm and all that he still kind of does but like he uh like he uh talked to people about it and stuff like that and uh yeah so that's something as well um uh, but like with Sam it was a completely different story like we see him kind of moving towards more of like a Steve Rogers type character and just the way he acts like if this was 
say the ending of the show where he was trying to like reason with these characters that's something steve would do he would try to reason with these characters not try to go punch first and beat 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 up them or whatever or try and kill them or something like that whereas steve rogers or something he would probably try and reason be like like how he is in the comics for example especially with the flag smashers the approach steve takes to it uh was very similar to way the way falcon takes uh, the approach to Carly, which was kind of reasoning, be like, I understand what you're doing, but it's not the right way to do it. I have to stop you or something like that, right? That And that was similar to Falcon Straits, and I really think that was really well done. Uh, the next thing would probably be, again, U.S. Agent's character development. Honestly, he started off as kind of this character that nobody really liked. I, I for sure, like, I despise this character. But I thought why Russell did a really good job as well with his character. Uh, but slowly he's he's coming, in terms of my opinion, my personal opinion, he's moving a bit up. He'll never be Captain America to me. That's just straight away. He'll never be another Steve Rogers. Uh, so that's something important to know with me. Uh, I'm like, I'm open to another Captain America. Obviously, I accept Sam as Captain America and stuff like that. Uh, but like, yeah. Just the nature of U.S. Agent's character in terms of that. That was just kind of stupid. But, yeah. Uh, I still enjoy his character pretty well. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Next up is the characters introduced. Now, this character... Uh, sorry. This show introduced a lot of cool characters from the comics, especially. Got a lot of Easter eggs, like Torres, who supposedly is supposed to become the Falcon. He is the... He was the in the comics, he was a uh, Falcon. He ended up turning into Falcon, uh, as well as when when actually uh, Sam Wilson ends up becoming Captain America, he ends up becoming Falcon. Uh, then of course you got U.S. Agent Fontaine was added. Um, uh, Eli Bradley as well as Isaiah Bradley, and Eli Bradley ends up becoming uh, Patriot inside the uh, comics. So that's another Easter egg. Uh, yeah. As well as it resurrected a few of the characters such as Batroc, Sharon Carter, and Zemo. And they upgraded all those characters. I think those characters are much better now. Well, at least Batroc, he, he stayed similar. He's kind of just there, to be honest with you guys. But his character Valo, uh, went up a bit. Sharon Carter showed a different side of herself in the show. Because we know now she's the power broker. So, yeah, that was something else as well. And Zemo's character development was just even way better. Like, I really like his character now. Uh, I understand his character a lot more. I think it's pretty cool. And also, they introduced uh, Fontaine, also known as Ms. Hydra in the comics. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for the characters. Story-wise, story-wise is pretty good, honestly. I liked how... I thought the Flag Smashers were definitely an interesting villain. I, uh, They had definitely interesting motives and stuff. I thought it was really interesting. I liked how they added kind of side villains in terms of Batroc. Some would say Power Broker. Some would say U.S. Agent. But like kind of roadblocks in the journey. I thought that was really interesting as well. I traveled around the world a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, again, with the story... I thought the story was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, next up was probably setting up stuff. I thought uh, Falcon Winter Soldier really definitely uh, set up some stuff. Especially, for example, it gave uh, New Avengers, Young Avengers character in terms of Patriot. And as well as they will be, uh, sorry, not they will be, uh, set, kind of setting up the more, the uh, kind of, Setting up two characters for the Thunderbolts if they ever do that. I don't know. Hopefully they do. I'm not saying it's in stone, but setting up some characters for that. Uh, I expect like maybe one or two maybe post credit scenes or something in a show. And then they'll probably unveil the Thunderbolts. That's my guess. Uh, but yeah. Uh, in terms of negatives, I thought... I thought negative wise, uh, just at the end of the episode, seasons, I'm sorry, episode six, 
I felt as if some of the CGI was not too good towards the end. I thought it was, I thought they were probably running out of money, to be honest with you guys, in terms of the CGI. I thought it wasn't too good. Uh, just it kind of reminded me of Black Panther and the CGI fest of that towards the end. But it's still a good show. I really enjoy it. It's just the CGI fest again. But, yeah, what can you do? I mean, it's probably like, again, they ran out of money or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Uh, and then one last thing, one last positive, I guess, would probably be that the acting as well. The acting was really phenomenal, especially from Isaiah Bradley. I thought he did a wonderful job as playing, the actor did playing Isaiah Bradley. I thought he did a wonderful job in terms of just his acting. It just felt like he wasn't acting when he was doing all those scenes and stuff. I thought it was really well done. Same with Anthony Mackey, Mackey, sorry. And Sebastian Stan, I thought they do a good job. Same with Wilder Russell, really fantastic job. Everyone on this cast really does a good job, in my opinion. I thought it was really awesome. Uh, but anyways, I guess let's give my overall rating. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really enjoy it. I definitely give it a maybe 9.5 out of 10, maybe 10 out of 10. But like, again, that CGI fest, I'm not going to ignore it. It's probably just, it takes a little bit off. It's not too bad. It's still watchable. But I feel like it could have been better. Uh, compared to the show, so I would say maybe a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, comment down below. How do you, how did you guys like the show? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you partially like it? Yeah. But anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.